What's going on, everyone? Thanks for joining me for another one of these Lost Foam Metal Casts. So I previously made one of these a few weeks ago. I actually made two of them. One said Mark and one said Matt. Um, someone named Mark actually asked me to make another one for him. So that is what I'm going to do today. Um, if you missed the last video, make sure to check that out because I went more into detail on making this foam pattern and actually making uh, doing the lost foam process. Uh, this one, I'm just going to show you a little bit about what I'm doing. I'll bury this in some dry sand and melt down some aluminum and cast it. So this will be solid aluminum when I'm finished. So if you're new to the channel, you've never seen anything like this before. This is a piece of foam. And when I'm finished, it is going to be turned into solid aluminum. And once again, make sure to check out the other video where I made these and I went more into depth on making this pattern. All right, let's get to the video, guys. We're going to bury this in some sand, melt some metal, and cast it. So for today's video, I'm just going to melt down some of these scrap pieces of aluminum. They're cutoffs from other lost foam castings. Probably not going to add these until the furnace gets hotter because this will not fit. So we're going to wait till that melts down and then we'll add that. While this is melting down, getting hot, I'm gonna go into the garage and bury that foam piece in the sand and get ready to cast it because by the time I'm done burying it, this should be melted and I'll be able to put that in. So let's head into the garage. Set that right on top. We're gonna get that warm, and when that's molten inside, I'll drop it in. this molten aluminum to be about 1800 degrees Fahrenheit. It's kind of chilly outside. The sand is kind of kind of cold. Uh, so it's going to cool down the molten aluminum. And I don't want it to solidify halfway down. I want it to burn away all the foam. So in order to do that, usually having this around 1800 it fills out the cast completely. So we're right there, so we're going to pour this metal.
All right, guys. Well, I think it came out great because it took all of the aluminum, and I had more in there than needed. Oh, that's not good. That, uh, that's not good. Well, it broke, so maybe I shouldn't pull it out. Maybe I'll little, maybe I'll wait another ten or so minutes before I pull it out of here, and I'll actually dump it. I think I'll just dump it out instead of pulling it like I normally do. We'll give it some time. Do you see the steam? Yeah. We'll give it 15 minutes. All right, guys. It is. It's been 15 minutes, and I think it's. Uh, I think I'm safe. I think I'll be okay pulling this out. I don't think it'll break off on me. So let's see. Oh yeah, one piece. Let's see if we can get this thing to quench. It still feels kind of hot. We'll see. Yep. It was still really hot. All right, guys. I am going to let this sit for quite a while. Let it dry off, and uh, I'll bring it in the garage and clean it up for you and see how it came out. So far, so good. Looks amazing. All right, guys, we're back in the garage. It is actually the following day. Um, and it's all dried up. It really looks good, but we're going to get a better look at it after I cut off this sprue and hit it with a wire wheel. Uh, you can see here I did have a little bit of blowout of the plaster, but that's easy to just fall away, um, file away. And I got one right here as well. They actually might even just break off. So let's just uh, put it in the vise, cut the sprue off, and hit it with a wire wheel. All right, guys, here it is, all finished up. Mark's man cave, my cave, my rules. And the back, unlike the other one, has my logo right in the middle. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, smash that like button, leave a comment below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. I really enjoy doing Lost Foam Casting, and if you do it, I'm sure you love it too. Stay tuned for my next video.